Mr. Winter Bay has a heavy focus on his characters and choices you make often relate to them. You can hang out with their characters, send them to handle certain tasks and so on. But besides a few times so far, your interactions with the characters occur when you're alone. This means that the characters interact with you, the player, but not each other. There are some exceptions to this. Some characters' negative reputation events or personal quests feature other characters. Sometimes you can also send multiple characters to handle monthly events. But when you do so, they still don't really interact with each other. And when they do, it's mostly in a general way, not really focusing on the things that make them their own unique character. But there's one type of event that allows two characters to interact with each other in ways that are completely unique to their characters. Those events are short monthly events that we'll call meetup events from now on. Those events are, of course, the focus of this video. As you can probably imagine, the meetup event is where two characters meet for one reason or the other, and you get mixed up in their shenanigans. Sometimes the interactions are fairly harmless, as the one between Alm and Hector. They're simply hanging out at the inn, wanting to get to know each other a bit better. The worst that can happen is that one of them loses reputation, often whilst the other one gains reputation. Sometimes it's a lot more serious, like between Celia and Gale. Celia thinks Gale is a bandit and wants him punished as one. Depending on what you choose, things can go pretty badly for Gale, as in imprisonment or even death. Or either of them might start to hate you. Luckily, there's one way to get both of them happy. But that's far from the case in every meetup. There are also more middle-of-the-road events where there aren't life-or-death situations, but a character might still end up disliking you so that you can't influence their reputation easily anymore. Don and Cecil's meetup is an example of that. So far, we've written and implemented four meetup events featuring the following characters. Don and Cecil, Alman Hector, Ereven and Yules, and Celia and Gabe. We plan to pair every townsperson with another one so that every townsperson is featuring this type of event. Some may get a second one featuring another character, but we won't make any promises about that. Far from everyone will get a second one in that case. How do we go about pairing characters for these events then? Well, we look at two things. If the characters have something in common, or if they have very little in common. That may seem contradictory, but let me explain. If the characters have something in common, like Alm and Hector, who are both closely connected to trees, they'll have something to talk about, even if the conversation derails a bit, like it does for Alm and Hector. On the other hand, if they don't have anything in common, their opposing ideologies may create some interesting situations. As an example, Dawn is the Valerie's priestess and is therefore very religious. She greatly opposes all types of Voidist worship. As it happens, Cecil is Voidist and wants a Valerie's like Dawn to stay out of his business. The two get into an argument and it's up to you to sort it out. Both Dawn and Cecil and Alman Hector's meetup events are in the game's demo which you can play yourself on Steam or itch.io. But it's likely that a lot of people who have played the demo haven't experienced them, especially Almon Hectors. That's because meetup events have requirements that have to be met before they can show up. And that's provided that the randomization of monthly events even attempts to pick them up in the first place. What are these requirements then? The characters have to live in Mistwinter Bay. You will also have had to hang out with both the characters at least once, but not more than two times. The characters also have to be available for marriage, which means that you can't have done anything that makes them really mad at you. There may also be other things for a specific meetup, but that's generally how it goes. So if you want to experience these types of events, you should hang out with every character once and not have them hate you. We've already made a list of characters who can share a meetup event and what can occur during it. But since most of these characters aren't in the game yet, it will probably take a while before we add more meetup events. But that will just give us an even bigger reason to focus on implementing the rest of the characters as soon as possible. If you found this video interesting, we have a lot more devlogs covering various topics about the development of Mr. Windy Bay. In fact, since we started with devlog 0, we already have over 20 devlogs which are all available in a playlist. And the next video will be number 20, which will cover everything we've done in the game from December to May. So subscribe so you won't miss it. That's all for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.